The object library in LED Wizard 7.1 is a really flexible and productive tool for saving and reusing special objects that you want to add to your layouts. It provides an easy to use tab interface that is much faster than importing and exporting, allowing you to have access to your custom objects with just a simple click and drag. So here we have this RGB layout, uh, each letter with one power supply. And I'm just readjusting these power supplies to be on the same line here using this, uh, this little guideline. And so what I'll first do is go back over here to the object tab and you can toggle the view between a graphical view and also a text label view. And I'll select this disconnect switch horizontal. And all I do is just click and drag and bring that uh, horizontal switch into the layout. Once I have it in the layout then I can position it, uh, I can scale it, I can move it wherever I want to uh, and incorporate it into my layout. So here I'm just adjusting this, I'll put this right on the uh, on the power supply wire and so that'll be our disconnect switch. And then in addition on this layout we can bring in our RGB controller. So each letter here can have its own little RGB controller that we'll just put right over the wire like that. So again just click and drag position that in here. Again it can be scaled. Um, these actually are groups so you can uh, create uh, an object that is a group and you can then uh, ungroup it after you bring it in. But I'll just position these RGB controllers right here along this wire. So this is just an example of something that you would uh, need to add to your layout if you were using an RGB module and without this feature you would probably have to uh, import it and so this is much faster you have these uh, these objects right here at your fingertips. So in this case I'll go ahead and scale this up and to add a new object I click on the plus sign I can give that new object a name RGB large click OK and then it adds it to the top of my list. I can also sort this list simply by clicking and dragging within the list so I can have the exact order of the objects um, in my list. So then now I might say, well, I don't want this RGB controller 2, so I just click on the minus sign. It'll ask me to make sure that I want to delete it, so I'll go ahead and delete that one. And we can have many kinds of objects in the object library. So here's a simple cabinet. It already has uh, mounting holes. Um, we can also uh, create a text object. So down here we have this simple copyright notice. So you can create any kind of text and you can uh, use that in the object library as well. So common text, this drawing is not to scale, copyright, this is just an estimate, this sort of thing. You can keep all these things handy right here in the object tab. Now you can also, um, as I said, create a, a group of multiple objects. So what I'll do here is just make a simple rounded rectangle and then uh, I'll add some text into this rectangle. So an object in the object library can be uh, very simple or it can be very complex. Um, anything that you think that you would need commonly in your layouts, you can just throw over here in the object tab and, and reuse it. So I'll just call this RR. Now I've added it, goes right up here to the top of the list, and then I can just click and drag, add that back into the layout. So very simple for um, adding and reusing objects. Okay, so the last point I'd like to make about the object library is that you can import objects and add them to the object library as well. So if you already have a folder of RGB controllers and, and switches, for example, you can just go ahead and import them in and then add them to the object library. And we can use a bitmap as an object or a vector uh, object. So in this case, we've added a bitmap, and so that's fine as well. Give this a name add that to the object library um, and then bring it back in and reuse it. So this could be your company logo uh, for example uh, as a bitmap and that'll work e equally as well as a vector object. So that's the object library. Uh, very quick, very easy and just another enhancement of your productivity using LED Wizard 7.1.